Now we are going to talk about the next stage of step of our argument. We have talked about the Wisher distribution. The next stage of our argument will follow as follows. Initially, we talk about the we talk about the distribution of x bar and s, and we shall see what is the connection between capital S and the Wisher distribution. We shall briefly mention their independence, and then finally we shall discover a uh, relationship between the capital T square and this mean dispersion matrix, etc. And then we shall talk about a distribution, new distribution called Hotelian T square distribution itself. We shall isolate the features of normal multivariate normal distribution, we shall distribution their independence. We shall talk about their uh, something very analogous to the Hotelian T square statistic. We shall call it Hotelian T square distribution based on all these features, namely multivariate normal distribution, we shall distribution their independence. Then we shall talk find talk about the distribution of Hotelian T square distribution, null distribution. Then we shall see the connection between Hotelian T square statistic and distribution, and that will enable us to obtain the null distribution of the Hotelian T square statistic. So let's see what we are doing. We are talking about discussing inference about the mean vector, no restriction on mean. Right in the beginning, we this we uh, said that we shall have occasion to talk also about inference problems or more explicitly hypothesis testing problem, but there is a linear restriction. This we are not going to discuss now, which it will come, in a, uh, come later. And we in the process what we have seen that we have seen an expression for the likelihood ratio statistic and an equivalent hoteling t-square distribution, which is very much analogous to the univariate uh, quantity. So, in that case the additional feature that we have obtained here is that now in the multivariate setting we have a matrix and this inverse and we a short while ago we saw that for a hoteling t square distribution for a Wisher distribution we have a we have this uh, non singularity of random matrix when degrees of freedom is sufficiently large number one and the underlying scale matrix is positive definite. Now we are talking about the hoteling t square distribution it is not the statistic let me remind you. So let us see what we have we have a multivariate normal distribution z its mean is 0 null vector, the 0 vector and the dispersion matrix identity matrix of order p and capital M it has a Wisher distribution degrees of freedom m and i p the same scale matrix the identity matrix of order p. Let us look at this object we look at z transpose m inverse z it should remind us of the expression for the hotel in t square statistic we are not going to spend time over that now we only within a short while we shall see how it comes. So, capital M times Z transpose M inverse Z. So, M inverse is in that case we assume that in order to conclude that capital M has is non singular with probability 1 if the scale matrix is non singular and this degree of freedom is sufficiently large that is assumed here. So, capital M Z transpose M inverse Z it is said to have follow Hotelling t square distribution with parameters p and m. So, let us see what are the underlying parameters m the degree of freedom of the Hotelling t square distribution and p is a underlying dimension the same dimension p and the same scale matrix here the scale matrix is same as the dispersion matrix of z. So, we write this quantity m times z transpose m inverse z it has a t square hotel in t square distribution with parameters p and m that is the standard notation. It can be proved that this is a very very crucial result because this will allow us to obtain the cutoff point or the null distribution of the hotel in t square statistic. Let, let us uh, remind ourselves again that we are talking about hotel in t square distribution. Hotel in t square statistic that we have seen earlier will come in a moment. This is the connection between the t square distribution, hotel in t square distribution and the f distribution. t square p m the hotel in t square distribution with parameters p and m it has the same distribution as m times p divided by m minus p plus 1 this multiplicative factor with f distribution with parameters p comma m minus p plus 1. This fact a proof of this fact relies very very crucially on the following fact. For any Wishard matrix M with uh, in the dimension P with scale matrix sigma and M as a degree of freedom, 
where this sigma is assumed to be positive definite and m greater than is equal to p that will ensure that m inverse is m is non single with probability 1. So, if we look at this ratio a transpose sigma inverse a divided by a transpose m inverse a it has a chi square distribution with degrees of freedom m minus p plus 1 for any fixed vector p cross n non null vector a I should have written the two, two vector should come. So, this is a very very crucial result there is no point proving it in this uh, here it is the crucial result, result we should be aware of. So, let us see the connection between the hotel and t square distribution hotel and t square statistic as I said the hotel and t square distribution has several component one is x bar the other is s the other is s inverse the other is it is a quadratic form we already encountered in the last slide this quadratic form. So, we have some understanding about the quadratic form involving a hoteling uh, involving a multivariate normal uh, variable and the Wishart matrix. Now, we are talking about the quadratic form. So, let us see when x 1 through x n are i i d independent identically distributed having a common normal distribution then the following whole x bar is same dimension normal distribution in the same dimension with mean vector mu and dispersion matrix sigma by n. it is exactly same as a univariate setup. We recall that in the univariate setup distribution of the univariate sample mean is same as has the same mean and the variance is divided by n and then in the case of the univariate setup we have seen that the corrected sum of square summation x i minus x bar square it has a chi square distribution with degrees of a degrees of freedom n minus 1 provided the sample variance is 1. In this case the role played by summation x i minus x bar square plays in univariate uh, situation the same role is played here by n times s the dispersion matrix that has a wishard distribution in dimension p with the scale matrix capital sigma and this is the degrees of freedom n minus 1 exactly same as univariate setup and more importantly it is an extremely important fact exactly in the univariate setup x bar and s are independent. So, we assume now that in order to talk about the hotel in t square statistic now we assume there we had this ex the expression for the hotel in t square statistic involved the inverse of the s matrix. We have seen that s has this distribution we have also seen earlier that in a wishard for a wishard distribution I can talk about its inverse provided the degree of freedom is sufficiently large that means n minus 1 greater than is equal to p and the underlying scale matrix is positive definite. So, we assume that this scale matrix sigma is positive definite and n is greater than is equal to p, p plus 1. So, using some of the earlier results it follows now that this object n minus 1 x bar minus mu transpose s inverse x bar minus mu it has a t squared hotel in t square distribution with parameters p comma n minus 1. The calculation is so very simple I leave it to the student they can certainly without any difficulty they can work it out and also using the connection between hotel in t square distribution and the f distribution we can write this as the same quant this t square there is a connection between hotel in t square distribution and f distribution we recall that and we rewrite the same sentence in terms of the f distribution now n minus 1. So, we write this distribution of this is n minus 1 x bar minus mu transpose s inverse x bar minus mu that has the this f distribution multiplied by multiplicative constant which is n minus 1 times p divided by n minus p. So, what we see now finally, we see that this is the last sentence it is the null distribution of hotel in t square statistic that is t square is equal to n minus 1 etcetera it has the same distribution of this. Now, standard tables are available to, to tell us about the cutoff point of the f distribution with degree of freedom p and n minus p. So, from that we can quickly do the calculation once we have the data ready we should compute x bar we should compute s we should compute s inverse then we should compute this quantity and we compare with the corresponding f distribution quantile. So, that is that is what we should do now. So, that that concludes the discussion about the inference about a mean vector when there is no restriction on mean. So, as I said we shall after this we shall go to a situation where there is a restriction on mean. So, that discussion will follow now. So, we are talking about this linear restriction on mean. 
So here is a fairly well-known problem. Uh, it was, it's a very well-known practical problem studied originally by Professor C. R. Rao in back in 1948. This is, uh, he studied this in his uh, very well-known paper. And this, this particular data set that one that I'm going to show uh, in the next slide, it is particularly useful for classroom teaching. So what does it study? Let's see. It studies whether amount of bark deposits in trees are uniform over directions. So we shall see that. So what the data, the data are for, there are the sample sizes, as I said in the previous discussion when there was no restriction on mean, we, s we observe that there are the sample is, sample is comes as the, in the form of a matrix. So there n is the sample size and p is the dimension of our data. So in this case, the n is equal to 28 and instead of p earlier it was 3, now it is 4. So for each of the 28 trees, the samples, that bark decomposition four direction, the data in the table in the next slide consists of weights of cork borings taken by Rao from the north, the south and west directions of the trunk for 28 trees in a block of plantations. That's what he did. What the problem was, this was a problem that uh, there was a suggestion from Professor Mahalanavish. The problem is to test whether the bark deposit varies in thickness and hence in weight in the four directions. Probably whether or not it was uh, affected by sunlight, that could have been one question that Professor Mahalanavish it was suggested by Professor Mahalanovich that the bark deposit is likely to be uniform in north and south directions and also uniform but less in east and west direction. So we shall, we shall not look into this part now, it is, it, this is not our uh, one of our agenda now. So basically the question is, let us see what the question is, before that let us see the data. So these are the, these are the data, so we see that there are 28 observations. For each of these observations, there are four numbers. These, what are these numbers? These are weight of bark decomposition cork boardings in the four direction for 28 trees. And what the question is to see whether if we, if we assume that these 28 observations are coming from a multivariate normal distribution in dimension 4, then we want to see whether there are the corresponding population mean, if I call that mu1, mu2, mu3 and mu4, they are all same. So let us see how we can go ahead with that. So let us denote this observation by x1 through xn. This has been our discussion for quite some time now. Here n is equal to 28. We assume as before that the observations are coming from independent identically distributed having a common normal distribution with mean vector mu dispersion matrix sigma where p is equal to 4. Let us remember that we have been using the notation p in the earlier problem p was was a 3 in this case p is equal to 4 and we write mu is equal to the individual entries of the mu vector is mu 1 through mu p and as before the ij entry of sigma is small sigma ij so let's see how can we formulate the question we can formulate the question as following hypothesis testing problem so all this mu i's as i said for the four direction the corresponding population means are all same. So the, if we denote the population mean by a vector of dimension 4 into 1 and if we co call the corresponding entries mu1, mu2, mu3 and mu4, all these objects mu1, mu2, mu3 and mu4, they are all same. Again, stage naught is false. How can we write this? We, we notice that this quantity, th this statement mu1 is equal to mu2 is equal to mu3 is equal to mu4 can be written as this mu vector pre multiplied by, by a matrix of size 3 cross 4 is equal to 0, where this matrix A can be chosen like this. So if I post multiply this matrix capital A by mu1, mu2, mu3, mu4, what we shall get? We shall get mu1 minus mu2, then mu1 minus mu3, then mu1 minus mu4. All are 0 if and only if all these mu i's are 0. So therefore, this statement follows that mu i's are all same if and only if a mu is equal to 0. So capital is given by this and the crucial fact to be noticed is that rank these three rows of capital A matrix are all linearly independent and therefore the rank of A is 3. So what we shall discuss after the this is that, so given a multivariate normal sample, IID observations from a multivariate normal distribution, if we pre-multiply mu by a matrix capital A whose, which is of full row rank, how can we test for a mu is equal to 0 or more generally a mu is equal to a given vector b where a mu is equal to b is, is a consistent. So this is what, uh, so the next part of our discussion will revolve around how to solve this question and what we have seen earlier 
that will serve as a building block for what we have we are going to discuss now. So, in this lecture what we have discussed uh, are the following thing to begin with we have talked about Hotelin t square distribution. Initially our expression for Hotelin t square statistic that compelled us to look at something like the Wishart distribution then we found that there are additional complication namely the expression for the Hotel in t square statistic is actually a quadratic form where there are several part one is a multivariate normal vector one possibly a multivariate normal vector then there is a wishart like matrix. So, we found that then uh, first of all we have to talk about uh, something like the hotel in t square distribution. So, hotel in t square distribution ingredients we emphasized it has a multivariate normal distribution it has a wishart distribution and they are assumed to be independent. So, based on that we obtained the we defined the hotel in t square distribution and also the connection between the hotel in t square distribution and f distributed which is very very important. Then we mentioned very briefly an important fact which is crucially important for establishing the relationship between the hotel in t square distribution and the f distribution. Then we proceeded with our discussion about the hotel in t square statistic it has several component one part is a multivariate normal uh, sample mean vector one part is a sample dispersion matrix and the inverse part. So, so we first notice that the sample mean vector has a multivariate normal distribution exactly as in the univariate setting sample dispersion matrix has a Wishart dis, uh, distribution modulo the, uh, the multiplicative factor 1 by n and the sample mean vector and sample dispersion matrix they are statistically independent. So, which is exactly same as the univariate setting and if we let the degree of freedom to be sufficiently large or the sample size sufficiently large in particular the sample size n is greater than is equal to dimension plus 1 that is p plus 1 then the dispersion matrix is non singular with probability 1. So, that we can formally define the hotel in t square statistic. So, now we fall back on the result connecting hotel in t square statistic and the uh, hotel in t square distribution and uh, f distribution we finally show that the hotel in t square statistic has a appropriate f distribution that that is the null distribution which enables us to uh, opt per implement the test. Then we go ahead with the testing problem of multivariate about a multivariate normal mean there is a when there is a linear restriction it is motivated by an example that example the motivation came from a very well known data set which came from from a paper by professor Sia Rao written in 1948 which appeared in biometrica it is about bark decomposition of uh, in in four direction north east west and south of 28 trees that he himself took and then the question is to see whether the bark decomposition is uniform over the four direction and this problem under the assumption of multivariate normality one can show that the testing hypothesis problem of testing whether the bark decomposition is uniform in the four direction can be written as a linear restriction on the mean. So, we have seen that the linear restriction is of the form the multivariate normal mean vector mu pre multiply a matrix A. So, in this case mu is of size 4 cross 1 a is of size 3 cross 4 and a is of full row rank that is where we conclude the discussion and and this is a specific kind of question that we shall take up in the next lecture that is we are having a sample from a normal distribution with mean vector mu dispersion matrix sigma sigma is unknown and we wish to test whether a mu is equal to b a consistent system b is a known vector a is a known matrix and a is a a is of full row rank that is what we shall continue with the discussion in the next lecture.